Hello Internet, Retro Kevin here. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. If you've been a fan of the channel, you know that I do a lot of cleaning with denatured alcohol. Today, I'm not going to be cleaning with it. I'm going to leave six different items in jars with denatured alcohol for about a month to see what kind of effect it has on those items long term. What kind of items am I going to be doing? Well, first off, if you notice, I normally wear these black gloves. So I'm kind of curious what would happen to one of these if left soaking in denatured alcohol for 30 days or a month or longer. I don't know. So we'll start with that. I'm also curious what would happen with with denim. I got a little piece of denim right here. It's, it's black denim. It's not blue jeans or anything, but I'm pretty sure it's the same material. You know, it's cotton. You know, should pretty much be the same results. So we'll do some denim. Then I have a couple of different food items. Uh, in a previous video, I did pickling of avocado. I still have this half of avocado left over. It's not ripe, so it still has the pit in it. I don't know if that'll do anything, but we'll see what happens. Maybe nothing, maybe something. We'll find out. Just gotta get that in there. There we go. And I also have eggs. I don't think anything's going to happen with the eggs. Uh, the shells are pretty durable. I don't think the alcohol is going to uh, deteriorate the shell at all or penetrate it. We'll see what happens. So we'll just carefully get a few eggs in there. Try not to break them on the way in. I still have some meat. Again, you might recognize this from the, the pickling video. And that, again, that already kind of has a smell to it. I, I picked it up at the store. It was advertised, use right away or freeze. That was a few days ago. So let's get this into smaller chunks there. do a banana. Again, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, it might preserve it. I can't imagine it's going to rot in the denatured alcohol. And I know a full banana doesn't fit in there. So let's just kind of trim this up a little bit. Get rid of that. All right. filled up with denatured alcohol.
All right, so now all the jars are filled up. Now we just have to wait. I'll see you in about 30 days, give or take a week. We'll see. Anyway, we'll be back. Several months later. And we're back. It took a lot longer for me to get back to this than I had initially anticipated. I honestly forgot about these and I got a little sidetracked with a few other hobbies. But here we are. I'm not really looking forward to some of these. Uh, the meat, I don't know. I don't know if the alcohol really did a good job at preserving it. I mean, it's, it's stark white. Uh, the eggs might might be a little stinky. I'm going to save those for last. But here we go. I'm going to start off with a few of the not so disgusting ones. And we will go from there. Hopefully, I don't have to air out my studio here. But we're going to start off with the gloves see how those handled because I use these gloves all the time as you can see same gloves and we are gonna get a pan here pour this into so whoo <laughs> I wasn't expecting that all right now let's get that out of the way and right here is one of the gloves that I'm wearing right now and you, honestly it doesn't it doesn't seem like it affected them at all like they still have a bit of stretch there like I don't uh, that probably would have happened even with one of these you know that wasn't soaking in denatured alcohol for three months I think it's been all right so that's good to know good to know that these gloves are very durable at least with isopropyl sorry not isopropyl alcohol denatured alcohol very good to know next we'll do the denim uh, it was black denim I'm expecting a pop again here well that one was pretty sealed so something and the gloves must have created some sort of pressure. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see how these jeans held up. I was kind of expecting some of the coloring to leak into the alcohol. And you know what? Again, yeah, I can rip them. I think I'd be able to do that with denim that wasn't sitting for months on end in this stuff. So, not bad. Next, we'll do the, what is this? Avocado. A half of an avocado. Now, this is the leftover from the last video I did with the pickling. Oh my. Look at that color. I wonder what that's from. I wonder if it was still able to oxidize what was in there. I don't know. How am I going to get this out of here? Oh, that does. That doesn't smell good. And it is hard as a rock. Yeah, all right. Wow. Isn't that something? Look at that. That is hard as a rock. It almost looks like you can kind of see through it a little bit. I'm going to get a knife. We're going to cut into this. I'll be right back. All right, let's see what the unexposed... Wow, this is drying up super quick. This almost looks like wood. Oh, whoa. It, it 
it cuts like it's wood too. That is crazy. I would have never expected that. I don't. Let's get this pit out of there. And again, like what happened last time, the pit. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I don't know if that's mold or what that is. That is crazy. Okay, this this was completely unexpected. It, it is it's it's wood. The denatured alcohol turned an avocado into wood. Could you build with avocados? Let's see what happened to the bananas. <laughs> it startled me. <laughs> Ooh, that's that's an interesting interesting scent here. Doesn't smell bad, it's just interesting. Again, the color is a little yellowed from the banana. Right. If I had to guess, I would say the same thing happened to the banana as happened to the avocado. We'll find out. Oh my. Hmm. That is... That's kind of cool. You see that? You can see like the, the, the structure of the banana and everything. And it's still... Still kind of squishy. A lot... A lot firmer than it was before. Oh yeah, look at that. The inside of it looks it, it it's still firmer than a, a normal banana would be. And the peel doesn't peel off. Like it's this is rubbery. And juicy. Have you ever been able to juice a banana like this before? I know I haven't. Huh. Well, I wonder if that's all alcohol or or what that is. I have an idea. I have an idea. We are going to test see if the juice that comes out of this banana is flammable. Do not try this at home. Just a little bit there. Oh, it is. That is all denatured alcohol there. Crazy. Maybe not so crazy. I mean, it's been sitting in there for how long? But <laughs> it's kind of cool. All right. All right. I'm not looking forward to this. This is the meat. Oh. Oh. What? What did I get myself into? Oh man. Oh man. This is very unappetizing. And the fat is just rubbery on it. Uh, it didn't it didn't turn to like butter like the pickling did. It doesn't smell as bad as I thought it was going to. Oh, it's tough to cut. 
Yeah, if you told me that this was beef, I wouldn't believe you. I wouldn't believe you one bit. Yeah, but it's, it's tough. It's crazy. Again, I'm sure that's flammable, so I'm, I'm done with the meat. Last but not least, eggs. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. No. Oh. Why? Why do I do this? Luckily, this is the last one too because without the AC on in here, it's getting brutal quick. So, try to. Holy cow. Okay. So, the shell is still pretty much intact here. Oh no. Oh no. Whoa, what? What? We just hard boiled an egg. Well, we didn't hard boil it. We soft boiled it, I guess. Now, what is that? Yolk? Whoa! Yeah, this is. This is a boiled egg. No, I wasn't gonna try. I wasn't gonna eat it. I'm. I'm smelling. I, oh, that is crazy. Oh, I mean, these shells are actually, I mean, I suppose it's because the, the egg on the inside is, is hard now too. Yeah, these totally, oh, this one's gooey. This one's like, like a, like a cream. Look at that. Ugh. I would have never guessed that. It's like, it's the consistency of like a, a, a deviled egg. And this one, I'm guessing this one's similar to the last one there. Yeah. You got creamy yolk. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. All right, I would have never expected that. It's getting hot in here. I'm I'm already starting to sweat bullets. I mean, look at my, yeah. All right, so that's what happens when you leave random objects, items, food items, whatever, in denatured alcohol for three months four months. I don't know how long it's been. I'm going to look back at the original recording of this and see exactly when I started it, how long it been in there. But yeah. All right. So that's that for this time. And I'll see you again in the next one.